Hey guys, so I realized last minute that my camera actually wasn't steady throughout me recording. I do apologize for this, but please do try and listen and enjoy. <laughs> lovers this is vibing with viola spelt with an i but pronounced with a y and this is my youtube channel happy 2021 i'm lying it's not a happy 2021 it's a bit overwhelming but i do come with good news i am here to give you 10 great tips that i hope can help you get the job that you want and all i need you to do is get your drinks your snacks your notepad and we will be right back <laughs> Okay, so number one, the first things first is that you need to have a simple CV, guys. I um, have been a normal sales representative and I've been a store manager. And being a store manager, obviously, I get to handle a lot of CVs that come in. I have had thick CVs come in and I've had literally half a page of a CV come in. And what's very important is that you get straight to the point. I think a lot of employers aren't really interested of whether or not you were a prefect in grade four or seven. <laughs> you know, what's very important is who you are today, what you have to offer. And yeah, just cut straight to the chase. Tell them what you like, what your hobbies are, what you're good at, what you would like to be good at. Go in with the simple stuff. Number two do your research there is nothing as frustrating as someone coming in with their cv then asking me okay what store is this again do your research you never know who you're gonna meet when you get there they might just ask you why you want to work for them or um what exactly you know about their company and if you don't have the right answers <laughs> Okay, so before you leave the house with all of your CVs to hand them out to different companies, know which companies you will be going to. That way you get to do a little background check on each company, see what they're about, how they started, what they specialize in and what they have to offer. This makes you look like you are prepared for it all, darling. Number three, look the part so i'm not saying go get a makeup artist to do your makeup and get you know the snatched wig that really isn't necessary all i'm saying is do your hair make sure you look clean and make sure you look like the part you know look like you already work there look like you want to work there it really doesn't make sense for you to be wearing sneakers tights and a crop top if you're looking for a job in more of a corporate setting and the same if you want to work in a shop that specializes in sports gear you're not gonna rock up there in a pencil skirt and a blouse okay number four smile all you gotta do is smile to get anything that you want in the world that we live in so when you walk in put your pretty face on and give them a smile okay you don't know who you're going to be speaking to you don't know who's there and also these are your future colleagues that you will be or might be working with so give them good vibes you know there is actually nothing worse than someone who walks in there with an attitude and you're like <laughs> look <laughs> i don't want the job you do okay another thing is you don't know who you're speaking to you don't know who the manager is there you don't know who the big boss is there not all vacations are the managers in the store okay number five. Oh my gosh this one number five is really really important to me and i think any other manager or someone who is hiring out their employer is people who come in and speak vernacular yo guys I've had this problem in Pretoria, you know, where people walk in and think it's okay to say, Hi, Chomi, Ali here. <laughs> Sorry. Chomi? Oh, there's a 
like I said you guys really do not know who you're speaking to and they could be your boss so if you're gonna approach them with this thing of hey chomi ali here look <laughs> Even if nearly here, ninka so jeez. And another thing is, I've been going on about this. I think pretty much everywhere about how people just assume that you know what they're saying in their language. If you're gonna come to me with that approach of assuming that I know, I'm gonna act dumb and just say, "Huh." Number six. When you go there, please go there with a pen and a notepad. If you're gonna walk into a store, which does really happen, and they're gonna tell you, okay, no, we don't take um, CVs in hand, you just need to apply online. Or they tell you, you need to just email your CV to this email address. It's very annoying for the other person to be standing there and you're saying to them, do you have a pen or do you have a paper? Guys, please be serious. Be prepared, have your pen, have your notepad, take down anything that you need to take down, be it an email address or a website and also don't walk into a shop without actually seeing which shop you're in number seven apply at all places that are relevant to the job you're looking for don't just apply at one place apply at several number eight do not lie there are so many people who add some extra things into their cvs extra qualifications and it gets very tricky and it shows when now you're asking the person to apply everything that they said they can do in their CV and it's like girl didn't you say you what happened you know the company already has people there to train you in the areas that you're not completely good at or you haven't completely mastered so don't be afraid to say you don't know how to do certain things there are people there who are willing and able to train you number nine ask the relevant questions anyone can call you 15 minutes after you dropped your cv to say hey we actually want to interview you right now when you get into that interview be ready be prepared and ask about the things you're not too sure of whether it's salary um hours i don't know whatever you have to ask just make sure that you ask it it is not nice to take a job and a couple of weeks down the line now you're learning about things that you actually don't like about the company and finally number 10 when you leave that interview remember to say thank you after dropping off your cv remember to say thank you or that you're hoping to hear from them soon and there you have it guys those are 10 simple tips for you when you're applying for a job or looking for a job or anything related to getting a job on the other hand you guys know the drill if you do like what i have to give please do subscribe to my youtube channel if you do enjoy this video like this video give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for any other questions that you have from me to you i'm out